Hey everybody doing up there first of all my name is Kenneth Bird I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Uh, we might be moving up the date for the uh, Eclipse Nano Spray On uh, screen paint. Uh, it could be coming a little faster than the 16th. Uh, so I'm um, still working out a few things really quick especially some paperwork. Alright so today we are going to paint a mirror. Yep we're going to turn a mirror into a projection screen. As I said before that this is a very easy kit. We do have a wallpaper kit coming out that will come with a 4x8 very thin flexible plexiglass. It will come with the Wagner 150 sprayer which I have over there and also too it will come with two quarts of the um, our, our Eclipse uh, nano um, screen paint. Alright, so mine is going to come in uh, three different colors. We have a black version that's coming out. We have a silver version, which you already saw yesterday, but that's just 80%. And then we have something called the Platinum Slate, which is already done. Alright, so let me show you the sprayer that we chose to package for free with your kit. Now keep in mind, I don't think I cut this already. Sorry about that. Little technical difficulties here. Let me put this here for right here for a minute. I was supposed to... Uh, I taped up the sprayer because I don't want it, oh, there we go, I don't want, want the cord to disconnect like it did the last time in the first couple of demonstrations my cord disconnected so I had to tape it up. So anyway, let's get back to what we're talking about. So this right here is the Wagner's paint sprayer that will come with your kit. It's a very easy basic sprayer, cup, cannon, compressor, that's it. You control how much air you want to push through with this uh, nozzle, uh, um, this dial right here in the front. This is how you control your spray whether you want it wide or now. It's a very easy, very controlled sprayer. The compressor is not that big, which is fantastic because you're not going to have a lot of paint dispersing out. Now, when you use a bigger uh, sprayer, it's an industrial, it's a big, it's a big, it's one of the big one I got right here. It's the Flex uh, 10 or I10, yeah, I10 or I0. Um, uh, Flex, sorry, I0590. Now this one right here, on the other hand, this is a very powerful sprayer. This thing is used for painting pretty much houses, pretty much at fences, large, large surfaces. This would be fantastic <coughs> if you're doing this to paint a giant screen. But uh, keep in mind that because it's a bigger compressor, it's going to push out more air, it's going to push out more paint, and then you're going to have a ricochet effect, which means the paint's going to hit the surface, it's going to ricochet back at you. And that's what causes the splatter effect all over the place. And it's very hard to control. And then you got people get confused, can't figure out which dial to use. So this makes it easy. Just turn it on, you're done. This is another one I have, which is the Flex um, IO570. It just has a basic high and low on it. I think, I think I would use this one, to tell you the truth, if I'm doing large applications because it's very easy to use. You either got a high or a low. It's, you know, you're, it's not complicated to use. I don't think this is going to disperse too much. But like I said, I like the um, the 150 stainer because one stain 150 stainer has a more controlled spray, and you're not going to get paint like all over the place. One of the things people don't um, tell you about if you're painting a screen that's eight feet high or seven feet high or six feet high, when you lift up that sprayer like this and you hit that screen, it's going to rain down on you. So you have to wear glasses. I also suggest wearing a safety mask and also to well ventilated area if you're doing this. All right, so let's begin. We're going to paint our mirror using our uh, platinum uh, slate for the eclipse. Turn it on. Very easy to use, very easy to clean. And you begin to spray. for a minute. Let me just my sprayer. There we go. I do adjust the sprayer.
Okay, so the question we've been asked, like, can you paint a mirror? What are we doing right now? It came out as prayer. Didn't like the way it looked. Alright. Let's go back over it again, that's all. That's it, we are done, right? That's it, we're finished. So that's the mirror already sprayed right there. I would suggest, if now if you're doing a mirror, do two coats, we're doing one coat because you see, you can still see the reflection coming from the mirror right there. So I would suggest always do two coats if you're doing a mirror or anything glass. Some people want a glass projection screen. So not everybody, but some people want it. But this is just an idea uh, to show you that you can paint anything you want uh, any surface if you choose I'm gonna have some people out there saying you painted over a perfectly good mirror. Are you insane? Well, uh, keep in mind. I'm trying to keep from tripping over my cords here. Keep in mind it was the old mirror that we had And we're gonna put it somewhere in the house, but we couldn't figure out where to put it at So I thought it'd be cool to do it for a demonstration. All right, so let's remove this all together Now mind you like I said the glare you're going to get back from the projector is because the paint is so fine the image is going to hit the glass I mean the projector is going to hit the glass and it's going to show the glare coming from the mirror that's why I say you want to put two coats so you cover that I'll be adding another coat in on top of that I should do it now now nah, I'll do it later I'll do it later all right let's begin <laughs> Every time I set my chrome pass, it's like the volume is all the way up. Why? So, like I said, I would suggest if you're doing a mirror, anything with a reflective surface, um, I would suggest either you're going to prime it first, because <coughs> it doesn't require any priming, but just in case, if you basically want to um, uh, get rid of any shine or any heavy reflection coming off the surface before you actually coat it with our screen paint. And this stuff is designed to be coated on anything, and I mean anything. You can paint anything with this, and it'll look fantastic. See how much color you're missing from here? Okay, if my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Waste Technology Screens. I'm uh, showing off our new Eclipse Nano 4K and 3D, three, sorry, 3D, 4K and 3D ready um, Eclipse screen paint. This is going to be something. This is going to be really cool. I can't wait to get this out on the market all right hold on for a minute let me go in here and just find something else we can do here we go let's grab another one so i'll try to pedal through here real quick and find something another demonstration for you all i don't think there's no sound with that one at all all right we'll grab this one right here I have 
my sound. Maybe it might be my sound. All right, there we go. Sound up, sound down. All right. Like I said, the glare you're gonna get is gonna come from the mirror because the mirror is gonna give back a glare. So this is just to give you an idea that I, I mean, if it's up to you, if you want to paint over glass, if you want to use glass as your projection screen, it's up to you. But you can use plexiglass, <laughs> you can use vinyl, you can use anything you want. This is just to give you an idea that you can paint over anything that you want. So with this sprayer, you can just ch -ch 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 -ch, you're done. That's it. And you can see the results from the technology. Look how well lit the environment is. Look at the screen. Let's go over here and let's look at the screen. Keep in mind, this is a mirror. Well, it was a mirror. This is how advanced the technology we're giving you. Now, keep in mind, this may obsolete some of our technology because it's that good. And for those of you that are gonna be feeling that you're gonna be overwhelmed with the paint sprayer, it's a very easy paint sprayer to use. You'd be surprised. You would really be surprised. Turn it on, that's it. I'm gonna be showing you a demonstration on how to clean it. How easy it is to clean one of these. Now I'm gonna go over again so that way I get rid of that little, repaint it again so I can cover up to make it more, more of a heavier coat so you won't see the glare coming off the reflection from the mirror. But this just shows you how advanced the technology that we're, that we, that we're presenting before you. And you can use this in a fully lit environment. Now keep in mind, there's my projector right here. My projector does not sit up on top of my screen. We're good probably and maybe a good maybe, I'd say nine or 10 feet back from the screen in a fully lit environment. 